Good morning. Jesus faces the one man who can crucify him. What happens next? We're looking at Mark 15, 1 to 5. Immediately in the morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and the scribes and the whole council, and they bound Jesus, led him away, and delivered him to Pilate. Then Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? He answered and said to him, It is as you say. And the chief priests accused him of many things, but he answered nothing. Then Pilate asked him again, saying, Do you answer nothing? See how many things they testify against you? But Jesus still answered nothing, so that Pilate marveled. So after an exhausting night of, of interrogation and mistreatment, Jesus is finally brought to Pilate. The chief priests, the, the, the priests and the lawyers, they're uttering a long list of accusations against Jesus. But he's not answering any of the things they're saying. He's just standing there, just taking it. And Pilate listens to this long list of charges. Now it's only when Pilate asks Jesus directly, are you the king of the Jews? That Jesus answers. He's been quiet all through the hearing, and now he says, it is as you say. Jesus does answer that question. It is as you say. So that's a yes. Imagine, if you will, this scene. Jesus is standing before you. He's obviously been beaten and mistreated. Here's these oily priests running down a list of crazy charges, uh, just an endless list. They're just going on and on. And here's Jesus, a man who's never sinned, and you just see the difference between the characters there. So there you sit, Pilate. You, you see this man. You can tell, obviously, that this man is innocent. But you're weighing, because you're a political animal, you're kind of weighing, uh, you know, that the Jews are determined, the Jewish leaders determined, we've got to satisfy them, and, and there's the crowds, and then there's the, the morality of doing or not doing something to this, to this guy that's claiming to be God. And, you know, to some degree, the, the success of your government there in that area depends on working with these, these self-righteous religious leaders here. And you're saying to yourself, I mean, you know they despise Jesus because he's pure, and they know that they despise you because you're Roman. But you're still kind of weighing all that. That's, that's the place that Pilate is at. And that's what interests me here. Pilate's not impressed by the priests and all the charges. Pilate is interested in Jesus because just just look at what's going on here. He, he, he asks him, are you the king of the Jews? And that's he's interested in this man, this man that's clearly a man of purity standing before him. It's so impressed that Mark says here that when Jesus answered nothing, it says that Pilate marveled. That's an important word there, Pilate marveled. Pilate was amazed at Jesus' demeanor. There was something very different about this man compared to these greasy priests. This man was not what he had expected. There was something about Jesus' character that just caught Pilate and really had his, his interest. The other Gospels say that Pilate proclaimed Jesus' innocence, but Mark just focuses here on how amazed Pilate was uh, looking at all this. And so there Pilate is puzzling what to do about Jesus. We'll talk more about that tomorrow, but let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, we recognize that Jesus was a unique figure in all of history. Jesus was the one and only God come in human flesh. And so, Lord, we thank you for this. We just pray that, that we would be interested in Jesus' purity, that we wouldn't be swayed by long lists of crazy charges and ridiculous uh, fine print and legalese, but that we would be seekers of the truth of God. And so, Lord, help us not to make the mistake that, that we'll see in our coming devotional that Pilate's going to make. When we're properly surprised, help us to, be, to process that wisely and not politically. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Most people still need to sort out who Jesus is and how they relate to him and take their life from that point going forward. God bless you today as you sort out your relationship to Jesus. God be with you.